Hey guys, what's going on? Hope you're having a great day today. We're talking about something that we've been requested a lot. Boom! The Blackmagic ATEM Television Studio HD. Let's take it to the bench and show everybody what is compatible and maybe what isn't. The new Blackmagic ATEM Television Studio HD includes an array of video production features such as four HDMI and SDI inputs, a multi-view, talkback, DVE, an audio mixer, flash media players, and software control panels for both Mac and PC. This unit is perfect for broadcasters using PTZ Optics, 3G SDI, or HDMI video outputs. The purpose of our testing today is to confirm compatibility with our PTZ Optics, PTZ, and Zcam camera models connected via either 3G SDI or HDMI. PTZ Optics second generation SDI cameras now support broadcast frame rates with a new firmware update, adding support for 1080p at 59.94 frames per second, 1080i at 59.94 frames per second, 1080p at 29.97 frames per second and 720p at 59.94 frames per second. After testing compatibility via both HDMI and 3G SDI, we have found that the Blackmagic ATEM Studio HD supports the following resolutions via HDMI. Yes, you're reading this correctly. We support every resolution on our chart. 1080p 60, 1080p 50, 1080p i60, 1080i50, 720p60, 720p50, 1080p30, 1080p25, 720p30, 720p25, 1080p59.94, 1080i59.94, 1080p29.97, 567i, 480i, 720p59.94. As you can see, if you're planning to connect your PTZ Optics camera to a Blackmagic AT ATEM video switcher via HDMI, any video resolution that your PTZ Optics camera supports will work. You can select your PTZ Optics camera's resolution and frame rate at any time by using the yellow resolution select dial on the back of the camera with a tweaker. You can always reference the video select chart on the bottom of your camera or inside your manual, and don't forget to reboot your camera after making any change. When you connect your PTZ Optics camera to the ATEM video switcher, make sure that you navigate to the settings menu and select the video format you would like to choose. This is done by pressing the menu button and using the dial to find the settings page. Press the set button to enter the settings area and use the wheel to choose the video format. By clicking set again, you will have the option to choose from all the supported ATEM video resolutions. Note, the ATEM does not have a feature for the option of 1080p at 60 frames per second. If you'd like to use your PTZ Optics camera set to 1080p at 60 frames a second, use the 1080p 59.94 option in your ATEM studio. As you can see, there is a limitation on supported resolutions when connecting a PTZ Optics camera to the ATEM Television Studio HD via 3G SDI. This is because of the compatibility conflict between SDI level A from PTZ Optics cameras and SDI level B from Blackmagic ATEM. Therefore, 1080p P at 60 frames and 50 frames per second will not work via SDI. 1080p at 59.94 frames per second also will not work with the Blackmagic ATEM via SDI. All other supported resolutions have been tested and do work. PTZ Optics is actively working to improve our SDI compatibility with Blackmagic products, so stay tuned because good things are coming. So what about PTZ Optics Zcams? Yes, we tested them. And check out that new 12x Z cam on a slider. Yeah, it looks pretty amazing. PTZ Optics Z cam support the same resolutions and frame rates as our SDI camera models, except they do not yet support broadcast frame rates. Let's check out our chart. Note, in order to change the resolution of your Z cam camera, you must use an on-screen display menu. You can click the button on the back of your Z cam to open up the OSD menu. Navigate to the settings menu and select the video format you would like to use. Once you have done this, you still need to reboot your camera for the resolution change to take effect. Again, you should double check to make sure that your ATEM unit is set up to use the corresponding resolution and frame rate. Ooh, all right, so 
As you can see, PTZ Optics is working hard to bring compatibility to the Blackmagic Studio products. That's right, and there's only up to go from here. That's right, subscribe, stay tuned. <gasps> what is this? Oh. oh my gosh, this is the ATEM-1 ME Advanced Panel. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about this PTZ joystick on there for camera control. The conclusion that we've come to is that there are so many converters and adapters needed to make this work with PTZ Optics cameras that we highly suggest using our free PTZ Optics app for Mac or PC, which includes Xbox camera control, joystick controls. You can use our PTZ IP controller. If you want to learn more about the connections needed for this, send me an email, paul.richards at ptzoptics.com, and I'm happy to share with you the adapters needed to set this up. All right, 